What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Like Music. Jason and Joe here. Album of the Week, the series in which we review albums submitted to us by our patrons. Uh, this week, we are talking about the Deltron 3030 record uh, released in the year 2000. This is a collaborative hip hop album between Dan the Automator. Kid Koala and Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Uh, this is pr probably, I mean, you've talked about some hip hop. This is the first hip hop I'm really talking about on the channel. You've had a few rap albums make your album of the year lists in the past, but I really don't listen to much, if any, hip hop. However, I will say I probably have heard this at some point. My friend from high school that used to drive me to school every day from like the time we were able to drive until we graduated. This was almost guaranteed something he was playing in the car. It was like, I know he was playing Dr. Octagon and a lot of Jurassic 5, and I would imagine this as well. Uh, that was pretty much my soundtrack on my way to high school every day, that kind of stuff. So uh, I have no memory or, or know what was what back then, but uh, yeah, I probably have heard it. The, this sound of this record just really took me back to to those car rides. I, I, I will say before we get into it that I don't know what I'm talking about. And I know I often don't seem like I'm talking about with some of my takes, but this time I really don't. How how you feel about this one? Well, I also don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm going to pretend like I do because I have picked some rap albums uh, in, in the past. We did album of the year uh, series. I, I had Kanye winning in 2004. So... Uh, there's some some rap stuff has made my list every once in a while songs and stuff uh, i usually like more than rap albums i'm pretty choosy about the rap albums that i i like and and get into and will listen all the way through usually it's just like songs here or there but this one's was interesting because it's like all the pre gorillas guys that you know people knew the next year in 2001 this is 2000, came out, Dan the Automator produced the Gorillaz debut, Kid Koala was the turntablist, and Del the Funky Homo Sapien was the featured uh, rapper, the ghost on Clint Eastwood, which was the, the big hit, the big single, kind of blew them up as a, as a group. So I didn't know that they had done anything before that. So it was pretty cool to hear this album and be like, oh yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's that's the gorilla's sound in, in a lot of ways. This album even has Damon Albarn doing a couple. Um, he's in the intro and the outro, just kind of introducing things a little bit. So the fact that he's on here too, uh, pretty cool. Um, Del the Funky Homo Sapien, you know, he's he's the voice on all of this, and he's he's got a cool flow. I like his voice. Uh, he's Ice Cube's cousin which is interesting and he did some like ghost writing for him he had a like a top 10 rap hit in with mr dabalina in 1991 and i don't really know what he did after that he's just doing some some solo stuff but here you know he's he hooks up with dan the automator nakamura and dj kid koala and they do this pretty cool alternative hip-hop uh futuristic concept album about the year 3030 he's Dell is, uh, I, I guess, from Wikipedia, I read that he was a disillusioned uh, mech soldier, interplanetary computer prodigy that goes around like facing off against evil people in rap battles. And I don't really know how those fit together. Um, but, you know, this is an album where the concept is, you know, it's futuristic and the Earth's in bad shape and it's owned by corporations and you know, the environment's falling apart and, and basic, you know, basic big sci-fi themes just with more rap battles, uh, pretty much. The, the story's a little hard to follow if you don't have, like, Sparks Notes or, or Crib Notes or, you know, Genius.com or something like that. Uh, you, you get, like, the big picture still. Like, you can tell it's futuristic and sci-fi and, you know, there's aliens and, you know, the environment's screwed up and, and stuff like that. But I don't know if I would really get the whole like rap battle thing. And I still don't quite understand how that works at all. But uh, in general, I, I think the theme, the world building works. It's, you know, you, you get the the futuristic and that's the important part. Um, 
Dell, you know, he's not like Ice Cube. He's got a kind of a goofy, cartoony, almost like sing songy kind of delivery, which I like. Like, I don't get tired of him over an album, even 60 minutes long here. Uh, you know, he's, I don't think he's considered like the greatest rapper in the world, but, you know, he strings everything together pretty cool. Uh, he's got a good sense of humor, works that in a lot. And so, you know, even like whiteies like us, I think can appreciate this type of, of music and, and lyrics and stuff. Uh, it's it's pretty, pretty welcoming to the non hip hop fan, even. Uh, I, I really like the production. I think it's very successful from Dan the Automator, especially on 3030, which is like the first real track on the album. Uh, it's really big, like maximalist pop. There's choirs and strings and really cool sound. It's almost too good because I kind of wish there was more of that. There's not quite as much uh, of, of that sound throughout the rest of the album. That's definitely the highlight for me, 3030. Seven and a half minutes of like futuristic hip hop prog almost. Really cool. Uh, but there's some other good songs. There's two Poppy Family songs sampled here which is very weird uh but bringing in like it and they were weird that was terry jacks's like family folk band or whatever so it's a really weird that they're canadian like sunshine pop with like a dark like murderous undercurrent so uh working those songs into a couple of these tracks i, I really like bringing in like those baroque kind of sounds i think it works well with this they do like aphrodite's child and handsome boy modeling school and mastermind which is a cool track they bring in de la soul airplane battle star galactica and the black hole for positive contact and um two songs with uh, a christine mcvee sample i think i think it's really well produced it sounds good it's not sparse like it's not dry sounding it's pretty you know you get the sampling and you get like that's kind of like rock pop feel to things so it's not like too too harsh for for people like us and i don't know i mean i, I just think it's a, a very good album i liked it a lot it's too long uh 30 30 probably too good of a song to put at the beginning and you're kind of missing that throughout that one has like the ambition like I, I really want that like big sci-fi theatrical sound throughout the album and it, you don't quite get it so uh missing another track like that some of that like big almost free kanye kind of big rap hip-hop stuff but i mean there's plenty of good tracks and i never lost interest even with the long run time and that was a good story good rapping from bell the funky homo sapien and great production so I don't know. There's really nothing here to not like. I think pretty much anyone can listen to it. It's it's alternative RYM core hip hop. Although you probably will be the <laughs> the bellwether to say, can anyone be into this? I do like rap in, in you know some cases, and I was very much into this. Uh, four, maybe four and a half stars. It's it's right on the the cusp for me. Wow. Always non-committal on the stars, though. You're always between two. Well, it would be like an eight point eight for me, I guess. So it's it's close to to four and a half. I'd have to listen to it again in like the in, in a two thousands deep dive where I'm putting it up against two thousands because we just listened to nineteen eighty four and you know we're doing all these deep dives with these great years and it's like okay I'm listening to Purple Rain and then I'm listening to Deltron thirty thirty. It's hard to be like well. They'll give this and this and this. So it's it's close. If if I had to pick like a rap album, like just in a rap album kind of frame of mind, it would probably be a four and a half because I think it is one of the better, at least or I, I wouldn't say better because I can't judge better, but one of my favorite, more favorite rap albums that I've heard. Well, like I said, I know nothing about hip hop. Well, I I know some things, but like I don't listen to enough of it to to make like a lot of comparisons to things and know how it like fits into the the bigger picture exactly i i agree with a lot of what you said i do think the production is pretty solid and i think the use of samples and the samples that they chose were, were are good and interesting 
I, I put it on and immediately I was thinking like, okay, this isn't bad. I could maybe, you know, get to like a three star here. This is not, you know, not so bad. My my issue with it was the his flow is good, but that is what it is. He's using like the same cadence, it feels like, through the entire album. Um, I don't think he changes it up enough. And I also think musically it doesn't change enough. I, th I think a lot of it feels very similar to me. So I know uh, people always complain about the skits on rap albums. And here I felt like they were so needed to break things up. Otherwise, this would have felt like one long track to me. So, yeah, uh, I, I'm coming down from three stars, which I was hopeful at the beginning. I was like, this is pretty cool. I, I can I can deal with this. But it was too long, 60 minutes of a lot of the same sounding stuff. I didn't dig too much into lyrics. They seemed pretty cool and like a lot going on. And, and you know, but at the same time, I do think there. I think with the sci-fi theme, it kind of almost gives him a pass where he can rhyme. He He's like making things like the, he's so untethered to the world that that, you know, his rhymes don't have to really mean anything. And to to me, that kind of like it's cool. I like the story. I like the idea, but it almost makes the rapping less impressive yeah i mean I, I don't know if the rapping is really supposed to be that impressive to begin with i think it's more just about you know, getting the story across being kind of goofy making a couple salient points about you know capitalism and environmental state of america and you know all, all that but i don't think he's really like up there to be like yeah listen you know check out this flow like i'm gonna do all sorts of crazy stuff and you know bring in all sorts of you know he's not like i don't even know who a great rapper would be I mean, he's not doing like a kendrick lamar who didn't exist yet but like i don't think the 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 choices of, of lyrics really matters like i think the freedom that he gets from having like a sci-fi theme he really uses that well to just kind of be funny and, and cute and bring in words that don't exist and you know he he has that license to just do whatever because he's not bad like there's no like code that he has to follow or, or anything like that like it's not like an ice cube or a um you know public enemy kind of thing where he has to like be a, a serious like advocate for for societal issues or something like he just gets to do whatever and i think that's very freeing and allows him to, you know, do more stuff and just kind of concentrate more on just building the world and kind of being Del the Funky Homo Sapien. I, I mean, I get that. I, I get that, like, you know, if we're talking about rock music, someone says, well, look, they're not an impressive singer. Well, that's not always the point, right? Sometimes the point's the lyrics. Sometimes the point is the vocals. Sometimes it's the melody. And I don't... Like with I, I this is where I'm out of my depth where I don't know, like it feels like the cadence and the rhyme schemes are very important in this instance to me. It feels like like that's part of it. <laughs> Maybe it's not as much of a part of it as I think it is, but if it is important, I think then he's kind of sidestepping things a little by having this like I can make up technologies i can make up any words that sort of sound sci-fi to to fold into this yeah well i mean i guess he is supposed to be like a world champion rap battler so i don't know i don't know if that is a good thing that he can you know make up words and defend earth's honor against aliens or, or whatever but uh, it's, it's something to <laughs> think about <laughs> maybe uh so the other thing is yeah he's going around rap battling right what were there rap battles was he doing multiple characters i didn't really notice any no it's just sort of like this is what i did to my opponent he turned his brains into goo or whatever that could have uh, been uh, that could have been a fun angle uh, yeah he, he could have explored that a little bit more brought on a couple guest stars to do to some uh rap battles like that yeah anyways I, I I can't even speak about it 
it's a weird thing because like it was fine but it almost hits my brain differently than like everything else we talk about good or bad and i'm not trying to make the case that it's like not music uh, i think that's a stupid argument uh it just it's it's something different to me and uh to me it's yeah it's a 2.5 which i mean i didn't hate it i wasn't sitting here like angry about it or anything it was fine but yeah uh, i'm trying to think if there's any rap album in history that you'd really like i mean I've got, I think I might have gone to three on a couple things. I think I gave, I mean, it's more R&B, but uh, Miseducation Mis Education of Warren Hill. I have it three. I might have, um, I might have gone three on Speaker Box Love Below as well. So there's a few things, but yeah, this was, this was like, the sound of this could get there if there was more variety, but. Mm -hmm. it was just a little one note for me yeah i definitely get that i don't know why for me it's like hard to know what i like in a rap album and like they're they're usually i don't like this amount of like repetition in this length but i don't know something about this one just it was a little more interesting and i i really do like del the funky Hitler sapien as a rapper i think he's just very easy to listen to uh and i like the you know the theatricality of it and the ambition yeah i thought this was one of the better rap albums i, I do think like he has a good persona mm -hmm. and i when he comes in on the on clint eastwood it's like it's the best part of the song oh yeah, oh, yeah. but i don't know i wanted more like wordplay cleverness I, I don't know some more linguistic stuff and this felt very it was like just a like you said kind of cartoony just like it wasn't wasn't really making it exciting for me when like i needed something else yeah all right so cross deltron 3030 off your list You'll have to find your rap somewhere else, somewhere realer. Got to head head back to the 21st century Earth. All right. Well, that was a fun experiment. <laughs> Let's start a new Hopefully trend. Hopefully no one will ever <laughs> nominate a rap album again. You've learned your lesson. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. Hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you in the next one.